In this video, I'll be introducing homotopy. Now what homotopy is, is it's continuous deformation of curves into one another. So if I have some curve like this, and I have another curve like this, then these are called homotopy equivalent if I can just continuously move this curve to line up with that curve. So let's go ahead and see an animation of that happening. So here you can see the first curve as opposed to my attempt for the first curve. It's just a nice cubic equation. And of course it's going to look different from my drawing because my drawing was absolutely horrible. And right here you can see the second curve, which I'll call a horseshoe curve. Now what a homotopy between these two curves is a continuous deformation over time between those two. So we will start with this curve and slowly over time and continuously we will end up with this curve. Alright, let's go ahead and see how that looks. So you can see we started off with the cubic and we ended up with the horseshoe curve continuously over time. Just a nice little transformation between them. And that's the intuition of the homotopy, is that it just moves from one curve to the other very smoothly. Now let's go ahead and do another example. Let's say I have this curve, this loop, and I have the circle. Now how do I prove that one is homotopic to the other? Well I can clearly just deform this one a little bit by pushing that out and then scaling it down a tiny bit to reach the circle. And so this one is homotopic to this one. Here's the animation for that. So right here you can see a circle as opposed to my attempt at a circle. And right here you can see the second curve, which I drew very poorly. I'm gonna call this the Pac-Man curve. All right, so a homotopy between the two is going to be a continuous deformation from the circle to the Pac-Man curve. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So you can see we start with the circle, end up with Pac-Man. Circle, slowly move to Pac-Man. Now the way I formalize this in general is that if I have any two continuous maps from a topological space X into a topological space Y, <clears throat> a homotopy is a continuous map H which will take in as its first input an element of X and as its second input, some element of the closed interval from 0 to 1. Now this input is going to be the time input. So this is a continuous map over time. And then it'll send that into y. And so this will look like h of x t. And t right here is transforming over time. Now what we want for this continuous map is that h of x 0 so when it starts off in the time variable, this is going to be equal to f of x. Right when it starts, it's the first function. And then h of x1, and 1 here is the last time variable, is going to be equal to g of x. So right when it starts, it's the first function. Right when it ends, it's the second function. So this is a continuous deformation over time from one curve into the other. So let's do an example. Let's say we have any continuous map which takes you from the closed interval on 0, 1 into R2. I will prove that this is homotopic to the constant 0 map from 0, 1 into R2. And this constant 0 map sends every point x to just the zero vector. All right, how do I prove this? So what I'll do is I'll define the homotopy, h, which takes in two variables, x, which is from zero to one, and t, which is also from zero to one. Now I'll define this to be one minus t times f of x. Now very obviously this is continuous. Now the thing about it, so now let's go ahead and prove that it applies to this definition. If I do h of x0, this is equal to 1 minus 0 times f of x, which is f of x, because it's just 1 there. 
And then h of x1, when it ends, is going to be equal to 1 minus 1 times f of x, which is then going to be equal to 0 times f of x is 0. And so as you can see, we started off with f of x, and then we ended up with 0. And so this is a homotopy from f to 0. Now we can also prove the transitivity of homotopy. So if f is homotopic to g and g is homotopic to h, then that means that f is homotopic to h. Let's go ahead and prove that. So let's say we have a homotopy h of x t, which is from f to g. And let's say we have another homotopy, I'll call it g of x t, which is from g to h. What I can define is a homotopy L of xt, and it's going to be equal to, and it's going to be a piecewise function, it's going to be h of x 2t. And this is for t an element from 0 to a half. And then it's going to be equal to g of x 2t minus 1 for t an element from 1 half to 1. Now how do I know that this is a continuous map? Well it's straight from the pasting lemma. So very clearly each one of these individually is continuous, but the pasting lemma says that where they intersect they have to agree, which they intersect only at a half. So let's prove that they equal the same thing at a half. So if I do h of x and then I plug in a half, so 2 times a half, this is h of x1. h is a homotopy from f to g. And so straight from the definition, this is equal to g of x. Then g of x, let's plug in a half, that's 2 times a half minus 1. This is equal to g of x, that is 0. Now g of x 0, this is a homotopy from g to h. Right from here, it's actually equal to g of x as well. Ah, look at that. They are the same thing. They're equal to each other. And then by the pasting lemma, this thing must also be continuous. And also note that if I do l of x 0, that right at the top I get h of x 0, which is clearly f of x right from the definition. And if I do L of x1, because 1 falls in this section of it, I have to do g of x 2 times 1 minus 1 is equal to g of x1, which straight from the definition is h of x. And so this is a homotopy from f to h, which is right here. So I just proved the transitivity of the homotopy relation. Now what this intuitively is doing is it's adjoining these two homotopies together. It's doing h for the first part of it. So what it's doing is it's deforming f to g first, and that's for the first half, and then it'll deform g to h in the second half. So let's go ahead and show an animation for that using an example. So right here is the first example of homotopy I showed you. You can see it's from the cubic to the horseshoe. Right here, you can see another homotopy, which takes you from a quadratic in a quadratic little parabola and the cubic that we saw before. So I'm going to use this homotopy right here and to join this with this homotopy. So first I'm going to do this homotopy and then this homotopy. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So here you can see it goes to the quadratic, to the cubic, and then it immediately goes to the horseshoe using the two homotopies that I showed you before. So quadratic, cubic, back to the horseshoe. All a continuous deformation that just goes from one curve to the other and just combines the two transformations. And that's the idea behind that transitivity. All right. So hopefully this was a good introduction to homotopy, and in the next video we'll see how this is at all algebraic topology. Anyway, that's it.